Coach, how have the kicking, punting end of things gone for fall camp so far? Very well. I think Jared is, is coming along right where he left off. Uh, had a great freshman year, and uh, Yanni is a holder, and, and we're bringing in a new snapper with uh, Grant Merker coming off an injury last year. And I think they've developed a lot of chemistry. And so uh, we know he can kick it well, and now we want to build around him and definitely have to protect for those kicks. It's interesting. UTSA has a really solid history, if, if memory serves here, of good place kickers in this program. Yes, they do. And, and Coach Wilson does a great job of creating uh, an environment that is surrounded around special teams. That if you're an offensive starter or defensive starter, um, you're, you're, you have a role in teams. And so that, that quality that you surround your specialists with, Jared Sackett, Yanni, is I think what that is, is built on is that the best are going to play on teams and it gives those guys an opportunity to perform. Nobody wants the, the offensive drive to bog down, but as you look back over the course of the season, three points here and there matters a lot. Absolutely. And, and you, you, every possession will end with a kick, whether it's a PAT, right? whether it's a field goal, or you're kicking off. I mean, you're gonna, you, you think of it that way, you, you want to put your best out there. What about uh, some of the blood and guts guys that got to be on punt and kickoff? What do you yes. see from those kids? Well, you saw today, uh, you saw Les and Josiah running down on coverage. Uh, Yanni, even with the heavy ball, had some nice punts, I think uh, 40, 45 yards. And then you look at the covers behind him, if you, knowing that Josiah and Les Marr are running down in coverage. And then you add uh, Stanley Dye, Blaze Moorhead running down uh, as some gunners. Uh, you know, those names you're going to hear with the defensive coaches, Coach Rollins, they're, they're all starting on offense or defense. And as well as Johnny punts, we still have to, we have to cover it. And then you think about the big guys that are protecting it, Balin Baker and David Anzadula in the shield, and he can't get the punt off if we're not protecting. So again, you build around those guys with those big bodies to kind of give them the confidence in the back that you'll be protected. And when we punt the ball, we'll be able to cover it. So you do like a lot of yelling, it seems like, at practice. <laughs> Frank Wilson's a little bit more laid back, but you're really loud and really intense. Can you kind of talk about your coaching style? And is that you know, the most effective style that you've found? Okay, that's a great question. But we have to understand that in teams, you have players from one sideline to the other. So it's yelling is simply you're, you're, you have to be able to address the, the gunner on that side or the or the returner on that side. That's 40 yards of space. I can't speak real quiet and for them to, to hear you. So you let them know, hey, we're going this direction. You let your coverage unit know. So you tend to speak loud. Not that you're yelling, but you just kind of, you, you raise your voice so everybody on the field can hear you. And then if you think about, you've got uh, Coach Visa, you've got Coach Camp working your protection, Coach Rollins. You're, we're getting everybody on the same page. So it's not that you're upset or you're demonstrative. You're just making sure that, hey, fellas, this is the play we're running. We're all on the same page and let's go. It seems like a lot of energy, too. Not necessarily anger yelling, but like maybe motivating? Yes. Well, they, you know, I think the players feed off of positive energy. And so we're all as a staff, we're very enthusiastic. Uh, uh, and I think the players will model your behavior off of that. You know, uh, Manny Matt <laughs> so when I was in Lubbock uh, for years, he used to coach special teams. They used to turn off the music. He used to put on a, uh, a, a microphone. That, coach yes, I've seen coaches do that. I've seen coaches use the uh, uh, what, what is it, the uh, air horn or whatever to, to, to talk to them because you're addressing uh, players that are 40 yards apart. So you <laughs> raise your voice a little bit. I'm, I'm thankful funny. that I have my voice still. <laughs> uh, that was going to be my next question, how you still have your voice because... Uh, cough drops do a great job coating your throat uh, during camp yeah. season. <laughs> Good question. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank that you. was easy.